Hey everyone, Zane here and today I'm going to show you how to use dubbing AI. Now first thing you should do is to simply go open your browser, Google, Microsoft Edge or whatever you use. Then you should search for dubbing AI on your browser. Then you will find the first link right here and now you will be directed to another page and you can simply click on this button on your middle bottom. So you should download this software on your PC in order to use it. It will share this page. Then after that, it will be downloaded on the top right, right here. Once you finish downloading the application, you have to install it. And in fact, the process of installation is very simple and easy. So as you can see, I have downloaded it. Now I will set up, it will show you this page. Just have to click on run to ask you to check your internet connection. Microsoft Defender, just click on run. It's not harmful to your PC. And after that, you should choose create a desktop icon or desktop shortcut if you want it or you can simply uncheck it then then click on next next install and so on then after that will be shown on your pc search for it here in the search bar so i'm gonna search for it just after finishing now here as you can see it's finished but i can simply finishing the installation or you can simply search for it from this search bar right here. Now here as you can see, it will ask you to continue with Google or Discord. So here in my case, I have used Google. Then after signing in with your Google account, you should click on continue. Now click on continue, then it will show you here the selection of your microphone. You should select your proper microphone. Now here in my case, I'm using this type of microphone, the BD200X broadcast microphone. Then you can also adjust the input volume and here, it is your speakers. You should also choose the correct speaker that you are using right now. I will use this one. Then after that, you can simply click on continue. And he, this option, you have to choose it in order to hear yourself if you want to do so. So you can simply increase the volume in order to hear yourself with higher volume. Or you can simply mute it by adjusting it to zero. Now I'm going to mute it, then click on continue. Now I will try to hear my voice. This is my voice with the application. So I'm going to click on all done. And now here, as you can see, it will show exactly how to use it by using Discord, OBS, Zoom, or general instructions in the PC, for example. Now I'm going to click on set up later because I don't want to use it on Discord right now. And here it will show you some options right here. You can simply click on this icon right here in order to toggle off hearing yourself. Now here you have some voices from Valorant. For example, you have some voices from League of Legends, Apex, Overwatch, Anime, Genshin. But if you see this icon, this lock icon, this means that you cannot actually use it until you are in the premium subscription. So now you can simply choose any voice of this one right here. I'm going to choose Tracer, for example, then I'm going to hear myself. This is actually looks like Tracer. And whenever you check this timer right here, when this timer goes off when it goes to zero these free voices will refresh so it will show you here free voice refresh in this type and here as you can see we have the raise voice and here you have the mute mic if you want to mute the debugging ai mic not using your own mic so this is an important thing that you should know and here you have some adjustments you can activate the echo remover and noise cancellation if you have a bad microphone you can also increase or decrease the input volume from this area again and you can also increase or decrease the volume of hearing yourself you can also adjust the soundboard volume if you need now let's check another thing you can go to the soundboards right here and let's say that you want to see some effects like the door opening, ring buzz, and so on. You can also use these sounds from the soundboard. You can also search for anything that you want. Let's say that I want to search for dog, for example, then click on OK. It doesn't show me here because this is actually a limited edition because I'm not using the pro subscription. Let's say that you want to go to navigate to community sounds. Here we have some Mimi voices or Mimi sounds. You have also the favorite where you can actually Add some voices to your favorite by just hovering over the sound, then click on this hot icon and it will be added to the favorite right here. You have also the voice cloning. How you can actually use voice cloning? It needs, you need to be subscribed to the pro version. That's first. Second, you can clone anyone's voice. You can clone a voice of your friend. You can clone your voice and use it anytime you want. But all you have to provide is one minute of valid voice sample and they will use the AI in order to check all the pronunciation of all letters 
and give you a voice of your friend or a voice of yours or even a voice of someone you know or someone who is famous. Now here you have also the guides. The guides will show you exactly how to activate it on each platform, on Valorant, how to activate it on Fortnite, League of Legends, OBS, Roblox, Windows and so on. And you can also click on the settings option right here in order to change the input device, the microphone or the output device, the headset. You can also go down right here and use the pro automatic calibration. You can also, this feature, you can simply code 10 seconds of your real voice and they will regenerate the perfect annotation and pitch parameters. So they will improve your voice. You can also go to the general. Here you will find more settings. If you want to change the language, the display theme, is it dark or light? I think dark is better. You can also show the floating window when minimizing debugging. You can toggle it on or off as you need. You have here also the shortcuts. If you want to create some shortcuts for some voices, for example, you can do so. And from this button on the top, you can upgrade to the paid plan. You have also here some rewards. You can claim it every day. Click on claim right here and it will be added to your account. Now, let's say that you want to use this thing on Discord. Now, first you should go to the user settings. Then after going to user settings, you should go to voice and video. After that, you should now choose the input uh, device, I mean. From these options, you will find the debugging option right here. This one right here. You should choose this one in order to apply the voice that you choose from this side to your Discord. And you can now use it when talking with your friends. And that's all for today. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to support us with like, subscribe, share this video with your friends, leave us a good comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in a new video.